breaking news. Africa's unrest and the Wagner mercenaries. Concerns about the involvement of the Russian-backed Wagner Group in some African countries could complicate efforts to address the continent's dire security challenges. Faced with increasing threats from terrorism and internal rebellion, some African countries have contracted the services of the Russian militant group to provide security assistance and training to their forces. However, the organization's recent attempt to topple the government of President Vladimir Putin may have opened a dangerous new vista in the organization's activities in regards to African countries with which it has signed contracts. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov recently stated that the future of contracts signed by various African governments with the Wagner mercenary group was a matter for those governments. It's strange that this Wagner group has been up to no good in Africa aiding corrupt governments there in their efforts to stay in power and crush uprisings. According to Lavrov, Wagner had signed direct contracts with the governments of several countries, including the Central African Republic, CAR. The Russian Defense Ministry has had several hundred military advisors stationed in the CAR for a long time, which is interesting to note. Wagner group members have been involved in the conflict in Ukraine, but last Saturday they staged what has been called a attempted coup to overthrow the government of Russian President Vladimir Putin. Following a brief mutiny led by Yevgeny Prigozhin, the group reportedly took control of Rostov-on-Don in southern Russia and began marching on Moscow before suddenly stopping their Moscow march. This new information has prompted suspicion that Moscow is actively involved with Wagner's activity in the Central African Republic, CAR, and elsewhere in Africa. Russian media quoted President Putin as saying that Wagner's production was fully financed by the government. He also revealed that between May 2022 and May 2023, the organization received roughly 86 billion rubles, approximately $940 million. The group's involvement in Mali, ostensibly to provide training and equipment to the Mali government against the threat posed by terrorist groups, has, in fact, exposed some of the complicities and subversive nature of the group, which may pose a greater threat to the countries involved. For example, Mali is reeling from a military junta that seized power in coups in 2020 and 2021 and is fighting to suppress a protracted insurgency by armed groups affiliated with ISIL, ISIS, and Al-Qaeda. Russian forces are suspected of being Wagner mercenaries posing as trainers. In March 2022, local troops and suspected Russian fighters allegedly killed hundreds of civilians in Mora, a city in central Mali. The government of Mali, which brought in the Wagner forces, watched as this unfolded. The Malian government's haste to hire mercenaries to protect the shaky ruling regime directly led to this tragic massacre of civilians. We share the French president's concern, describing the deployment of Wagner troops in Africa as the life insurance of failing regimes in Africa, in February, which will only sow misery. The consequences of foreign mercenaries on African soil, especially those affiliated with vicious governments like Putin's, have been highlighted in this newspaper. These groups are destructive forces that will further destabilize the affected countries. They could easily plot a regime change across Africa and disrupt the country's internal systems. Some people think the Sudanese government is attempting to give the Russian naval base access to the Red Sea. The Russians will try to make the most of this opening by utilizing the Wagner Group, despite strong opposition from the United States. Since the ongoing armed conflict in Sudan provides another opening for these agents of destabilization to look for a new place to wreak havoc, we urge the African Union to emerge from its slumber and begin to take the security and stability of African nations seriously. When it comes down to it, even the regimes that collaborate with these mercenaries are not immune to the subversive tactics, and we are worried that unstable African countries will be used as pawns on the chessboard of vicious groups. We warn that Nigeria, the continent's most populous country, is at risk of invasion from groups that may have links with Wagner and with refugees fleeing the crisis in Sudan, Mali, and the Central African Republic. Nigeria, which is already weighed down by the Boko Haram and allied violent groups like the Islamic State in the West African province, ISWAP, may not survive yet another wave of crisis.